And oh my <gasps> god, it ruined my dream. Ruined. You know the times when you just remember something really bad and you're like cringing 100% at yeah. 3 a.m. Yeah. If you don't move, you won't, you move. won't move. <laughs> okay, last question. And Hannah, you'll be the one to answer this first. This question is from May. Masasabi ko hindi pa ako ganon ka confident, but I want to be. How can I build my self confidence? I think this is a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason, and it's just fake it, fake it until you make it. Like, honestly, there is something about playing a role again and again, and it's suddenly becoming you. And so, if you lack confidence and you know that you want it, just pretend like you have it, and sooner or later, like Kaki said, it will become a habit. You know, parang you already feel yourself, you know, being shy or something, but you take that step of confidence. Like when I moved to Australia, I was like, this is a perfect time to reinvent myself. I'm so not the type of person to go up to people and say, "Hi, my name is Hannah. What's your name?" Oh my god, never in a million years did I think I'd be that person. But the day I landed in Australia, I missed the bus going to my school because I was nervous to approach the people. People that were like, and I was like, okay, I won't na lang line up with them. I'll just watch when they're entering the bus, and then I'll just go when they're gonna enter the bus. And I looked away, and then I looked back, and they were gone. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so in my head, it was like, okay, lesson number one: pretend like you have the confidence to go up to people. Because if not, you will not be able to survive in Australia. So I literally give myself ten seconds. I count. I say ten, nine. Eight, seven, <laughs> five, four, three. Hi, my name is Hana. What's your name? And honestly, it became a habit. And now I find myself being able to do that because I faced rejection already before. I faced awkward conversations, and they're actually not as bad as I thought they were in my head. So yeah, I would say fake it, and eventually it will become a habit of yours. And celebrate the times that you are able to successfully fake it, because then you will be like. Oh, I actually like this, you know. So yeah, that's my suggestion. I love that. May pa countdown to yourself. Yes, ten seconds of confidence is all you need. It's all you need. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Basically, that is how we met. You know, it's it's the ten because I was alone that time. And honestly, like, it's really most of the time not gonna be as bad as it is in your head. Like we overthink way too much. Go calm down. It's not that disastrous. See, I don't really know how to explain confidence. Um, but I think there was this quote from sorry, super random from Divergent. Did you guys watch <laughs> Divergent? I love that series. I read all the books, even the four one. Anyway, so- actually, something that four said. What he noticed about her was that fear doesn't shut you down. It wakes you up. And I think it just came to a point where I realized that I wanted to be the wakes you up person. Now I didn't want to be, you know, the girl who would shut down anytime there's a moment that a leap of faith is needed. And I think that's where the ten seconds of of confidence, confidence. the ten seconds of YOLO. <laughs> For me, it's three seconds. It's like one, two, three. Hi, how are you? It's ten sec, uh, three seconds of YOLO. You know, one of my favorite quotes. It says, "You'll never run out of, out of excuses, but you will run out of time." And that has stuck with me from the day I heard it, because I can go for weeks, months, years talking about all of the excuses, excuses why I shouldn't do what I want to do, or why I should stop what I'm doing. But as I'm doing that, or as Hannah was doing that, she missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> or as I'm doing that, I'm missing opportunities. I'm missing points of time where I can take leaps of faith to my dreams like all of these I'm just getting stuck at not even square one but square zero and I realized that I wanted fear to wake me up instead of shut me down and so it's really being intentional about it it's like you are not gonna be a scaredy cat it's like really telling myself I was like snap out of it Janina just snap out of it it's like okay I'm ready let's go she just how her, her head talks to herself okay. it's, really, it's just like hyping myself up like you can do this come on let's go okay hi. she's like a hype man in her head I swear <laughs> But it takes yeah. time to have that, you know? It does, that's why it's intentional. Man. Be your own hype man, guys. That's why it's really a choice that you have to make every single time. Not the one-time thing where it's like, today I will be confident for the rest of my life. It's every single time an opportunity arises. You have to decide. I'm not gonna shut down. Yeah, and then hype yourself up with whatever kind of hype man you have. And then just do the 10 seconds or 3 seconds and do it!
Just do it or else you'll run out of time and miss your bus. You know, I had a visual when you were like being your own hype man. You know those movies na my angel and devil dito sa shoulders? I had this vision of Janina with a timid Janina on this side. Na shy and like not talking. And on this side, there's a boxer Janina who's like, do it. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Yes, you got it. Okay, before you answer this, Frankie, I want to... um throw in something else because somebody who is watching this might be thinking of course these girls are confident they're hannah and janina and frankie so yeah how to those who may be thinking that what are you, what's your advice also on building self-confidence i am constantly terrified constantly. <laughs> i was not expecting a that great way to start <laughs> That's the thing, because a lot of people are like, no, like you're so recently, especially like it's been, it's feel, it feels so weird to be told like, oh my god, you're so brave, or oh my god, you're so confident, and it's like I'm just here, like no, I literally cannot sleep at night because I'm shaking in utter fear <laughs> over like the inevitable doom of everything, right, and like being so existential, especially <laughs> because of like the deep reflection stage. And I think that the person who asked the question was already saying like, I really want to be more confident. That in itself, that's half the battle done. Nah. Do you know what I mean? The fact that you want to be proactive, the fact that you want to be more confident, that means that you you are willing to devote the amount of time, energy, and attention towards getting there, deba. Right? And I think that that's that's a wonderful. That's just the awareness of that in itself is already like that's you're halfway there. That's it. That's good. If you internalize that, really, you'll start noticing also that you know you, like the choices that you're making will start sort of taking you there, deba. Right? If that's something that you truly truly want, if that's something that you truly desire deep down inside, I think that you don't even even have to really condition yourself anymore to get towards that headspace because you're there now so that means that you know just sort of like realize where you know it's like if you feel like you lack confidence in certain situations find the approach that you'd normally take and sort of break it down and see where can i actively be more brave where can i actively be a little more outgoing etc and you know you can build it up from there so it can be from small things like you know hannah just like approaching somebody right yeah. small things like just saying Hi, I'm blank. Like that's great. Like another one. Kung my graded recitation or diba, like go up there and like try mm-hmm. like just volunteer first. The diba? certain things like that. Like just to sort of and then as you accomplish things, you'll realize I think that these things like it's not the criteria for your bravery, no. Like that success. Like, oh, I was able to like say hi to somebody i was able to like announce stuff like that that will get you out of that initial that initial like shy headspace first and like you can like sort of make points in your head but as you go and i think as you gather those points nga, those theoretical parang tally marks no as you gather that up you'll realize it's not really a big deal and then you can build yourself up to like even bigger things like i can confess to my crush like i don't know like, <laughs> slowly, Aki, is there something the you want to share to the class the hey. is that the thing on your head gaggy are you <laughs> you know frankie i did see that tweet about yeah and now people crush. Are... Oh. <laughs> yeah, everybody started thing. tagging me because in like this because a few months ago I tweeted like confess to your damn crush like the world's ending and I was so oh, brave yeah, about I that. that. Yeah, I was brave about that because at the time I didn't have a crush. <laughs> No, I think, can I add to what Kaki was saying? I think especially in the context of what Ate Bianca added, you look at us and we just look so put together and just like, they're already there. Just me, we're not, sis. After... <laughs> Girl, like I was saying, Karina, I constantly feel like a failure. Um, but I think the important thing to know is that before... I got on stage for SNL. I started with introducing myself. And I think self-confidence because it is a journey, sis. It's like Ooh. it's a hard, difficult uphill climb and it's not a one-time thing. It's really really breaking it down. Like I'm just repeating what Kaki was saying, but just breaking it down and seeing every single moment. If you can ikaw na lang mag-order ng McDo. Parang ganun, diba? We don't yeah. like <laughs> I don't like doing the deliveries, but even just that, like all of the little places where you feel like you could be a little bit more confident, even if it doesn't even make sense, but all of those little practices will really, you know, up and up and up and until you're tweeting like Kaki does and until you're posting videos like Hannah does. And so it's really... Until you're singing like Janina does. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's really... A, anyway, it's really a slow uphill climb. And I hope I hope people who are watching this understand that, that we started from negative 100. And we're not even up there yet. I think it also helps to not just like think about the, the moments of like 
what you're eventually going to do. But I think it also helps to revisit like the past. Not revisit, but I guess reassess what happened in the past because I personally think that what does bog down my confidence is trauma and fear. <laughs> so it's like, why are you laughing? No, I go, <laughs> like, you know the times when you just remember something really bad and you're like cringing 100% yeah. at 3am? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So like, basically, I think that those things that you, you're, you're, whatever is hindering you from being confident is rooted in a situation that happened before or something that somebody said before. And for me, for example, it was with my music career. When I, I did a music class or with it and the teacher said, do you really want to do this? And oh my <gasps> God. It ruined my dream. Ruined. Ruined my dream. It came to a point where I think after five years, I, de- I decided I was never going to be a musician. I was never going to sing. I was never going to perform. And I had this really deep talk with my mom because I saw the person again and I really got para frantic. And I was like, oh my God, I really still don't like that person. And my mom was like, let's talk about this. And she said, you know what? We're not going to let this person win. Don't let that person that made you feel small or weak win by ruining the rest of your life what you could possibly do in the future let's leave that to before and say i'm not gonna let the narrative end here you know i'm gonna continue that and there's gonna be a resolution there and the fear whatever fear that is i'm coming to terms with it yes people might not like my voice people might not and you could say it again and again and again and again until you become desensitized to it until it doesn't hurt anymore until it doesn't sting and so when somebody actually does say, let's say to me, my music, oh, I don't like your voice. <laughs> okay, but well, then move on. So yeah, visit that that past, whatever, that fear that's holding you back. Say that you're not going to be a captive to that. And then move forward knowing that it might eventually happen again, but this time you know how to react better. For and sure. I think, you know, like, forgive yourself also for things like that like go back revisit exactly what makes you feel like you're inadequate and like you know allow yourself to sort of let it go and just very kindly make peace with yourself True, in, terms, yeah. in terms of that regard right? because if it's somebody else for example like in that situation right? I think that also like sort of just the mentality of like forgiving them in your head even if it's like you know because they probably didn't even realize like how big of an impact such a True. something like that would have had on you right? so just like go back and sort of look at the, all those memories, look at all those times that you probably, that probably sort of shaped your insecurities. And I think that you need, there's a certain amount of forgiveness and letting go that definitely has to happen there so that you can be peaceful now so that your heart is prepared for whatever else might come next. And then from there, you build your confidence from there, from like, just start with a good foundation of like my expectations are probably higher for myself than anybody else's expectations are for me because i think that everybody's expectations is kind of shaped by like ideas of what people's expectations for yourself are it's sort of putting them all together so then it looks it's like a mountain of expectations but then if you realize that that mountain only really exists in your head and nobody mm-hmm. else's head i think that that's a great like kickstarter also because then you'll realize so what does it matter if i fail like what does it matter if this isn't necessarily as perfect as i thought it would be but the point is i got it done i can learn from it and then sure. i can build on this diba you're only going to keep getting better and better if you keep doing it again mm-hmm. if yeah. you don't move you won't, you won't move. move yeah i love that and conversely on the looking back, whenever you feel, at least this works for me, whenever I feel like, oh my gosh, sobrang hiyo, all, zero confidence, I look back at the past things I have done and I'm mm. like, uy, kinahaya ko yun. Kaya ko to. You have, yeah. you, again, your own hype man. Yeah. <laughs> um, telling yourself that, girl, you did this before. This is going to be easy for you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So super, super thank you. I think if anything, I have two beautiful um, takeaways from the three of you. One is that people who look at the three of you could pit you against each other, right? Oh, I like her better. I like her better. But seeing the three of you supporting each other and allowing each other to shine, not just through your answers, but in life in general, pushing each other up. There's so much to be learned about um, women supporting women. And second is that a revelation to the people who are watching this and a revelation to me is that 
our questions on motivation and being hard on yourself and confidence. My gosh, yun din pala pinagdadaanan ninyo. Oh, that naman. is a Every revelation day. and something that I feel will be comforting to so many other girls who look up to you and think like, ah, pareho kami. And kaya ko din to. So again, super, super thank you, Frankie and Janina and Hannah. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you! Thanks! Love you, Yes, thank you everyone for watching. Until next time! Bye! 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 Bye.